Hi, this is Marty with Skincare Science. Welcome back for another video. And this is a good one. Uh, this one is about ceramides. I got a question asking about ceramides and how they work with within the stratum corneum and intercellular space. The question wasn't that involved. I added a little bit to it, but nonetheless, uh, it's a big topic. I'm going to try to shrink it down because there's a couple of aspects of this that I haven't gone over, but bear with me. This is, this is a good one. Okay. All right. Uh, boy, oh boy, this is a big topic. All right. Um, okay. Let's draw, let's draw this. Okay. And, um, uh, actually I, I need to, uh, I need to do this. Okay. And then draw like that. Okay. I, I should have had that there, but before, remember I've, I've referenced the SC as being that thin. I need the whole thing this time. And then of course the epidermis, uh, the dermis doesn't matter to me at all. Okay. Um, ceramides are a group of proteins that are within the skin. Uh, and a large percentage of them, uh, ceramide 2, is in the stratum corneum and throughout the uh, intercellular spaces of the stratum corneum. Again, I, this is a huge topic. Okay, um, let, let me do this. All right, let's, let's fill this. Let's do this and make this easy. And the reason why I'm drawing it stacked like this is because it'll be easier for you to, to, to see certain things or for me to demonstrate certain things. Okay, do you remember when I talked about, um, and if you haven't seen the videos, you, you kind of got to watch them, uh, surfactants at a certain percentage? Um, and I'll, I'll make it easier for you now. Um, surfactants or soap increases transepidermal water loss. But if you formulate properly and you study science and what they have learned from the skin and how to reduce transepidermal water loss, you understand that it's not pH that, that matters. It's the percentage of surfactant that is in the cleanser. So if you go and get a, a bar of Comet, or, or I mean Comet, you know, like you would for your sink, and you scrub your face with that, I don't even know what would happen. Or Dawn soap. I mean, who would do that, right? Well, I know why I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I know that the, 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 the soap that is in those products is at a percentage that is going to destroy the spaces in between. You know, maybe I should get a, a different color and do this just so you can see it. Here, I'll put a little X. Here, 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 and here, like that. Okay, the, the soap is gonna come out, gonna come in and remove that. Well, when it removes that, okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it right here, and, and this isn't accurate, but it, it'll get it'll demonstrate why. H2O. Okay. Uh, when the surfactant, and let me do this, I'm going to do this right here, and I'm going to do it big so I can write in it. Okay. Gets, you, you clean your face, right? And the more you're cleaning your face, the more you're doing this. So you're, you're increasing transepidermal water loss. You're increasing the, the reduction in the, in, in the mortar, in the brick and mortar model. Okay, this looks very much like the brick and mortar model, right? Okay, so when you put the soap on, the soap goes into the skin and it removes these X's. It just, they're gone. Here, let me get this. Let me clean this and take this out like that basically, okay, and they're gone. What, what's happened? What's happened is the soap went into the inter, intercellular spaces, 
removed them because there's nothing to keep them, nothing to keep it in, nothing to fight the soap on, right? The stronger the soap. So that's why the, the, the serene line is formulated uh, with 10 to 13%. And it's not just one surfactant, it's two. And the reason why that is, is because they found that one was better at cleaning and the other one to to get the proper percentages, it was just better to combine them. And, and that's what facial cleanser sensitive skin is. Okay, but I'll go for product knowledge at a later time, but back to the point. Okay, so they found, and this is science, this is like, you can read about this stuff. Um, uh, the 10 to 13% soap was right where they found the threshold across all skin types. And, and the ones that they studied, right? Are they gonna get everybody? No, they're not gonna get everybody, but they get enough. And when they tested uh, for transepidermal water loss after um, the surfactant was applied, they realized that what the soap was doing was going in and, and removing the intercellular space, basically emptying them. So the water, H2O, would, would come out. It's that simple. After you use soap and you hydrate and you use serums, that stuff goes back in and fills up those spaces. But ceramides, being such a high percentage of the intercellular space, ceramide 2, the, the, the education, the studies, the history, and the theory is that when you apply the ceramides back topically, um, let's go ahead and, and, and do this. Okay. Ceramide. Put it back. That's the nuts and bolts of it. It, it. There's a lot more to this as it relates to, to how the SC is formed. And I'll get, in, I'll get into that into a later video. It's, it's a big subject, uh, you know, and I, and I really fine tuned this one. But in a nutshell, when you cleanse your skin, it removes ceramides. When you apply uh, ceramide lotion, it puts them back. Do all products that you use to some degree have the same effect on the skin? Yes. Then why did I choose ceramides and why did I choose to, to formulate and to do this? It's very simple. The research is 20 plus years old. The skin hasn't changed. The research was solid. The studies were solid. The authors, the research, everything about it was solid. There's nothing about what they said 20 years ago or longer that doesn't apply today. Well, and I have 10 years of clients telling me how wonderful that product is. I've had some say, I've had some actually tell me that ceramide lotion helped them when a prescription wouldn't. What did I do with that information? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's a one-off thing uh, and there's no way that I'm going to take that information and, 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 and call it I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying. I'm not doing it. It, it has its foundation. It is what it is. If one-off situation creates a, a, a great outcome for a client who's been to the derm and trying to treat, you know, you know, certain skin conditions, you know, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's a one-off thing. I'm one, wonderful to help. That's it. I'm done. Hope that answers your uh, your. Hope that answers your question. And um, again, I'll I'll. I'll I will go into this again later, but, but this is a really small video to help you understand what it's doing. And I hope that that helps and answers you directly. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video.